Fellow real estate agents, did you know that there are three different paths that you can take in your real estate world? And I want to go over each particular model one by one and see maybe which one might be the best fit for you. So let's start. The first one is um, independent. These are agents that are seasoned. Typically, they've been doing this for a couple years. They don't need their handheld. They don't need leads. They don't need any type of admin support. Just leave me alone and pay me, essentially. These are brokerages a lot like EXP, Real, uh, I would say also Remax. Again, these are agents that are typically seasoned. They know what they're doing. They don't really need their handheld. So there is that particular particular model that's the first one that's interdependent and they get paid typically their splits are significantly higher just because they don't need all the the assistance and the help of these other ones the second one interdependent these are your bigger box office brokerages this is your Keller Williams this is your Berkshire Hathaway Coldwell Banker where the training is top-notch it's phenomenal they got the name brand recognition you're gonna have admin you're gonna have support um, they're really gonna be able to kind of help you as far as getting the information necessary however for the most part by and large you're on your own you're, as far as acquiring business finding buyers and sellers they may provide tools but they won't necessarily provide you the lead so that's also a route typically splits are going to be less than the previous one on the independent model simply because they're giving you a little bit more and lastly the third is dependent this is the team model um, this is actually the model that um, my company is based around and it's essential around three things they're the three L's leads leverage and leadership and that's the three kind of pillars that you can rely on or you should be getting uh, when you're on a team obviously leads these are people interested in buying or selling real estate uh, leverage this is like staff this is your transaction coordinator this is people that can help you with certain things um, and then of course you have leadership that's where we have our leadership community we have mentors and of course myself as well here to help you guide you and train you there's no right or wrong answer it just it really depends on where you're at in your career um, but there are three different models in my opinion um, it's really up to you to pursue which one I of course obviously and fond of the team model but again to each their own if you've been doing this a long time you don't need book of business probably go the independent model if you're brand new probably consider either the dependent which is the team model or interdependent which is of course you know a little bit more training the big box office brokerage it all depends on kind of what you're looking for so good luck